Hi everyone, uh, my name is Kang and I'm a product manager at Google working on on-device machine learning. And today I'm excited to share with you how you can run Gemma entirely locally on your device using MediaPipe. So why would you want to run Gemma on device? There are three main reasons. The first one is privacy. If your app deals with user data that the user may not want the data to leave the device, then processing it uh, locally is a, the best option. The second reason is offline availability. Because the model runs locally, you don't need any internet connections uh, for it to work. And the third reason is cost. Because the inference runs entirely locally, you do not have to pay for the server cost. So MetaPipe LM Inference API enables you to run Gemma on device with a very simple prompt in text out API so that you can quickly integrate Gemma into your applications. We support running Gemma on iOS, Android, and web. Now let me show you how easy it is to integrate Gemma in each of our supported platform. Let's start with web. First, you will need to go to Kaggle and download the on-device variations of Gemma. It is called the LightRT variations. So for those who don't know what LightRT is, it is the new name for TensorFlow Lite, which is Google's framework for running machine learning models on device. MediaPipe used LightRT under the hood for model inference. Then you switch to your HTML file and add these lines to load the MediaPipe LM inference API. And next, go to your JavaScript file. We start with creating a LM inference instance with the Gemma model that you have just downloaded from Kaggle. And then we give it a prompt and get back the generated response. It's very easy, isn't it? The nice thing about web is that it will be able to try it out very quickly in your browser with MediaPy Studio. Let's roll the demo video. You can quickly try it out Gemma 2 running on web through MediaPy Studio. So I already have a Gemma 2 model downloaded in my local computer. I will let MediaPy Studio to use that. Please be noted that here there's no model being uploaded to MediaPy Studio. It's just using the model that I have locally. So let me ask Gemma 2 to tell me a very short story about a cat and a dog meeting each other. You can see that it's very fast. Pretty nice, isn't it? Okay, so because uh, MediaPipe is cross-platform, you can similarly run Gemma 2 on mobile with a very similar high-level API. And now let me show you how to do that on Android. As usual, you go to the build.gradle file for your app and add the MediaPipe SDK as a dependency. And then you load the Gemma model that you downloaded from Kaggle earlier. And then you send an input prompt to the model and get the results back. It's very similar to the web API that you saw earlier, isn't it? Now let me show you a demo of Gemma running on my Pixel phone. Please pay attention to how fast it is. Let's roll the video. You can see that the phone is in airplane mode, so there's no internet connection. Who painted the Mona Lisa and where is it currently displayed? Very nice, isn't it? Yeah, and the nice thing about Gemma is that it's uh, an open width model so that you can customize it to fit your needs, such as fine-tuning it to be better in Japanese, just like what you saw earlier today. The good news is that you will be able to easily convert your fine-tuned Gemma 2 model to run on MediaPipe, and let me show you how. You can take a fine-tuned Gemma checkpoint and run it through our conversion script wait for a few minutes for it to finish, and now we have a model bundle that can run on MediaPipe. 
We have published a CoLab notebook that you can use to convert your Python checkpoint without writing any code. Because we um, have announced Gemma 2 that uh, was fine-tuned for Japanese earlier today, I took the model checkpoint and I converted it, it into the on-device format that can be used uh, in meter, with MeterPipe. And now let's check the Japanese skill of our Gemma 2 model running on web with MeterPipe Studio. Let's roll the demo video. Now let me start with asking it a few questions in Japanese. What is the height of Tokyo Tower? And the answer is 333 meters. Oh, it's pretty nice. Uh, what about something in Tokyo that is taller than Tokyo Tower? And Gemma's answer is, is Tokyo Skytree, which is the correct answer. Let's do a follow-up question. What is its height? And Gemma correctly answers that is 634 meters. Then I say, wow, that's really tall. And Gemma responds that Tokyo Skytree is indeed the tallest building in Japan. You can see that the Japanese fine-tuned version of Gemma 2 is really good in Japanese. So that was everything about Gemma running on device with meter pipes that I, I would like to share with you today. Uh, please check out the MediaPipe documentations for detailed instructions on how you can integrate Gemma into a web and mobile applications by using the MediaPipe LM Inference API. Thank you.